Hey guys, welcome to Node.js for beginners, basic concepts and essentials. In this course, we'll be learning how to use JavaScript to write Node.js applications and run them on your local machine or on your servers. Basically, JavaScript as a language was developed to run on browsers for doing stuff like uh, manipulating the DOM, um, you know, providing animations to your websites or enhancing your web pages and stuff like that. So people often tend to confuse Node.js with a library or framework for JavaScript, but Node.js actually is a JavaScript runtime, just like we have a uh, you know, runtime for different languages, for example, uh, the Java runtime environment for executing Java code. Similarly, Node.js is a um, runtime for executing JavaScript applications outside your browser. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about just the Node.js itself and uh, see why you have to learn Node.js and what are the advantages of learning Node.js over other technologies. And uh, I have a pretty decent article for you to read here. Uh, so it's it's on Codeburst. I will, I, I will link the article in the description below. So I, I strongly recommend giving this article a read. It's on how Node.js single thread mechanism work understanding event loop in Node.js. It explains clearly on how Node.js technology is achieved, how it's architected and how the whole thing is working under the hood. So give this article um, a read uh, once or twice just to wrap your head around it uh, you know, pretty well. It uh, touches the some of the main concepts that you have to know before starting uh, to learn Node.js um, so that you can uh, so whatever the code that you write makes complete sense to you and uh, you know also reading other people's code right so it touches upon some important concepts like uh, single threaded and uh, the event loop and uh, background workers and all that so this is a great article to start with i will say and uh, so i'm going to i'm not going to go over the complete article in this video but i uh, wanted to show a very beautiful comparison over here between node.js and other technologies like ruby on rails so um, here's a really good comparison here's a list of companies that uh, use node.js to power their uh, backend so some of them are linkedin we have medium we have uber where the whole thing was originated and on the other side on the ruby on rails side we have dribble airbnb github yammer Shopify, Scribd, SoundCloud, SlideShare, and so on. Some of the uh, some really popular companies uh, that are using uh, Node.js versus some you know, other set of popular companies that are not using Node.js at all. So coming to the comparison between um, you know um, from the time efficiency uh, perspective, um, it says page load time is quicker in Node, node applications. So um, it's because of the non-blocking I/O nature of Node and all that. But if if, if it doesn't make sense to you uh, when I say non-blocking, just give this article a read and it would all make sense to you instantly. Um, so Ruby on Rails is efficient for lighter applications. The personally, I have not worked with Ruby on Rails, so um, I really don't know the, te uh, the technicalities um, behind uh, the page load time differences, right? So why Node is faster? I mean, I know why Node is faster, but I'd... Uh, I don't clearly understand why uh, Ruby on Rails would be slower in terms of uh, page load time as compared to Node. So, and talking about the difficulty level in working with the programming language or the technology, um, Node.js is easy to work with, uh, whereas uh, Ruby on Rails is a little bit hard for beginners uh, because if you if you see uh, most front-end web developers are already familiar with JavaScript, so the, at least. Um, they will be having uh, the basic JavaScript skills. So that would uh, enable them to easily dive into um, Node.js uh, because it's the same programming language and the same syntax, same code that you write. So it's just a different uh, concepts. Of course, there's a, um, you know, a bigger shift of concepts because you know, it's completely different domains. Um, you know, one is front-end and one is back-end. But the programming language and the code that you write would still remain the same. So in that case, it's uh, it's easy to shift to Node.js from being a front-end web developer to becoming a back-end Node.js developer. Ruby on Rails is a little bit hard for beginners because everything is new to you and uh, um, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be familiar with uh, Ruby on Rails if you if you are not a web developer who already worked on Ruby on Rails. Right? So uh, talking about the learning curve, 
Um, and as I said, yes, you can use your existing JavaScript knowledge to make that transition smooth, right? So you can just, because both are just JavaScript, you're just writing different code, that's all. Um, when it comes to Ruby on Rails, it requires expert learning resource, of course, because um, you know everything is new to you and uh, you have to start from ground zero. Uh, so that would require some serious learning. And uh, talking about the mechanism of how the technologies work, Node.js works on event-driven approach. I mean, again, um, I must say that this article explains very well about uh, event-driven approach, you know, event-driven programming, and how um, event loop um, in Node.js works and all that. So it would make complete sense to you once you just give this article a read. And uh, Ruby on Rails works on web support mechanism. Coming to the community, Node.js has moderate community, uh, whereas Rails has a vibrant community. So Rails has been used as one of the prominent technologies to develop web apps. Um, as far as I'm seeing from the uh, past few years, Rails is still prominent in the web development market. Well, personally, I've seen companies and enterprises, um, you know, not even considering Node.js in their main tech stack. So they consider options like uh, Ruby on Rails or, you know, uh, Laravel using PHP and Django with Python and all that. But um, I've, I've not seen much companies or um, enterprises around me that are okay with uh, adding Node.js to their main tech stack. So there is also more information on developer salaries and all that. So I'll leave the rest of the article to you guys to explore and uh, um, that's pretty much it for this video. For, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, we'll start writing JavaScript code from the get-go instead of wasting time reading the theoretical stuff. So um, until then, take care, bye-bye and uh, yeah, have a good one.